Welcome to ITU Telecom World 2018 here in Durban, South Africa, where I'm very pleased to be joined in the studio today by Fatima Hursi Mohammed, who is Principal Secretary for the State Department for Broadcasting and Telecommunications for the Ministry of Information and Communications and Technology for Kenya. Uh, Principal Secretary, welcome to the studio. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Now, I'd like to start off by asking you about smart digital development. It's the, it's the uh, key catchphrase here at ITU Telecom World this year. What does smart digital development mean to Kenya? Well, um, smart digital de telecommunications uh, or communications uh, development for Kenya is basically in all aspects of life in Kenya. Uh, Kenya, the mainstay of uh, Kenya is agriculture, so we have smart technology in agriculture helping the farmers. Uh, health, we are in, in, we, the, the government has a jubilee government, which is the government now in place, uh, has four key areas we call the Big Four Agenda, and basically that is in agriculture, in healthcare, affordable healthcare, affordable housing, and uh, poverty eradication. So, with with in all these four areas, uh, smart technology and smart development is going to be used to help the country achieve its goals of the Big Four agenda. And what single digital innovation, uh, innovative technology, product, strategy, or policy do you think it would be the most transformative? Well, in Kenya, we've had quite a few uh, digital technologies. For instance, the M-Pesa, which is mobile money uh, transfers. And that has really changed uh, the whole country. Uh, we are a population of about 45 million, and I think 44 million Kenyans are connected via mobile. And a lot of the people in the rural areas are able to transact money. They're able to make savings. Uh, we, they have products such as Mshwari, where you can like save money and then use it to take a loan. Uh, from the mobile telephone company. Uh, we use it for paying our utilities. You can pay your water, you can pay your, your cable TV uh, connections, you can pay for a lot of things. So it's in connection with banks, uh, which quite a few banks are on board. People are able to make payments, people are able to transfer money, people are able to save. So M-Pesa for us has been a big, big, big digital transformation for the country. Absolutely, it's, it's all, all over. You, you see it uh, yeah. helping people everywhere. So in terms of uh, key priorities, what are the key priorities for Kenya's government in developing the digital economy? Well, the key priorities for Kenya um, are, are things like, as I said, the Big Four agenda. Um, the government is, is, is the, the telecom industry is liberalized, and Kenya's primary, you know, for we have the digital uh, literacy uh, program where children in primary schools have been given tablets and their teachers are given a laptop and then they have servers, they have uh, you know, projectors and the classroom becomes a learning experience for the children. This has helped the you know, school attendance, uh, has increased. Uh, the children are very, uh, you know, pre being prepared for the 21st century, um, and everybody, the family, everybody is, is excited about uh, learning uh, new things online. And the government, in, in its the various, um, you know, education, um, uh, like the Kenya, you know, in its school for the curriculum de development department, has developed curricula for the schools in math, in English, in science, and Kiswahili, which is the national language. So the children are able to learn, and the parents are learning from the children and the teachers are also more excited to teach in class because everything is, is, is exciting I, you know internet and ICT is exciting yeah now you haven't come alone uh, to this exhibition to the to this uh, forum uh, and to, to the conference you brought a number of SMEs with you mm -hmm. I wanted to ask you uh, what can be done do you think to, to further stimulate uh, digital entrepreneurship and w which sectors are currently having the greatest impact and also just about bringing these SMEs with you what do you think that they're going to get benefit they're going to get from from being here I think the, the first uh, obviously benefit is exposure uh, being able to talk about their uh, you know their innovations uh, to more than just Kenyans this is a global stage and I think other countries can learn from Kenya and we can learn from others so for them the SMEs it's the exposure they're getting the networking opportunities they're getting being able to go to other stands and see what other people are doing and with that knowledge they can go back to Kenya and probably even get more more uh, you know um, share with their colleagues and also be able to come up with even more innovative products and, and, and services for the people so I think it's important for us to give that exposure to them and uh, for us all, obviously we also come to ITU Telecom to network to learn uh, to share so I think it's a good thing to do yeah. uh, stimulating entrepreneurship in Kenya itself um, for instance in Kenya we have um, an internship program and and we're, we're, try we're trying to connect 
the young people uh, straight out of university to give them opportunities in companies. So we have a, a presidential uh, inter internship program where young people in, in IT and are being connected to the work, workplace and they're able to learn on the job. Uh, we also have a program called Ajira uh, program, which, is, uh, which uh, has just started and the, the, what they're doing is that they're getting the graduates now, or even while they're still in university, to get online jobs. So we're already preparing them for the workplace by giving them, and they're already earning money from online jobs and so the government is already making contacts with co global companies, with local companies uh, to give jobs, back-end jobs, IT jobs to these young people and they, ca they are making money. So we're already preparing them for the work in the future and to be entrepreneurs themselves. Yeah. And uh, finally, you're, you're here at IT Telecom World. What's the value of attending events such as this? You, 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 you touched upon it a little yeah. briefly, but just, just what, what's the value <laughs> of being here for you? Um, I think the main thing is, is to learn, um, is to network, uh, is to be able to meet other countries and other people from, from different parts of the, of the world, learn about what they're doing, sharing what you're doing back home, and improving, constantly improving, because you see people who are better than you, you probably see people who are not as advanced as you, but you're able to help those ones that are not as advanced because they are learning from us as well, and we're learning from others. So I think it's a good uh, opportunity to network, to meet, to know each other. That human contact is important. Fatima Hirsi Mohammed, thank you very much indeed for being with us. Thank you so much for having me, and have a wonderful rest of the time. Thank you. Thank you.